Hello and welcome to this demonstration video how to recover Enterprise Vault data. My name is Phil Waters and I'm a consultant working for a company called Adeptech. So in this video what we're going to do is we're going to archive some items and then we're going to restore a previous backup of all the SQL databases. This will cause a number of things to fail. If you want to understand the background to what we're going to cover then there is a previous video that you should check out on the YouTube channel. So first of all I'm on the admin console and what I'm going to do is to archive a number of items for a particular user. So choose run now and I'm going to do archiving and I'm going to do selecting mailboxes and archive all items for a user called Diana Palmer. So obviously we need to wait a short while for that to complete. If I switch to the client, we can see the items will become pending, as you can see, and then we'll wait until they get changed into shortcuts. So as you can see, all those items are now turned into a shortcut. So let's just open one of them to check that it opens successfully. So it does. And I'll just show you that the search client is working currently. Okay, so you can see the items that have been indexed. So what I'm going to do now is to go to my Enterprise Vault server. I'm going to close the console. And I'm going to stop all the Enterprise Vault services. This is in preparation for restoring the previous version of the databases. OK, we're now going to go to the SQL Server to restore a previous backup of the databases. So we're now on the SQL Server and we're running uh, SQL Server Management Studio. And what I want to do is restore each of the databases. So I'm going to do a restore the database. I've already got this backup that I did previously. And I'm going to choose the option to overwrite the existing database. And click OK. And I'm going to repeat for the Vault Store Group database. and for the information management database, which is a vault store database. OK, so that's completed successfully. So I'm going to go back to my EV server and I'm going to restart each of the services.
OK, so let's go back to the client and see what's happened there. So let's go to the inbox and find one of the archived items and try and open it. And you'll notice I'll get this error. So there was an error loading this item. And if I click on this, it says the item is no longer in the vault. The system cannot find the file specified. So the problem is that we don't have the record in SQL, although we do have the archived item within the vault store partition. So the thing about Enterprise Vault is that all those pieces need to be in place to be able to open the archived item. So we have a failure. Let's look at what's happening in search as well. So if I, yeah, we're getting a failure now. So search request failed. So there's a problem with the indexes as well. So I've switched back to the Enterprise Vault server. And first of all, I'm going to start the admin console. Before I do anything else, I need to take the vault stores out of backup mode because they're in backup mode when the date directory database was backed up. So let's do clear backup mode for all vault stores. OK, so the first thing I want to sort out is the problem with the indexes. So I'm going to run the manage indexes tool. And I'm going to verify Diana Palmer's indexes. So this is going to create a subtask. It's going to run under the index administration task. So I need to just change some settings for that task. So we change the schedule to run 24-7. I need to restart the task and also run it now. So we'll go to monitor indexes tasks and refresh. So you'll notice that one volume is fine. The 32-bit volume is OK. But the 64-bit volume has actually failed. And if we go into the properties of that volume and we'll open up the report file, you'll notice that it says that the verify subtask has failed, the sequence number mismatch. So the highest index sequence number for the index is 76, but in the database it's only 65 because we've restored a previous version of the SQL database. So when the index is ahead of storage, then the index volume will always fail. And we can basically only fix this by either recovering a previous backup of the indexes so that the index sequence numbers is either behind or the same number, or we need to rebuild the index. So we've identified that there is a failed volume, but before I can go and rebuild the index, the first thing I need to do is to actually fix storage. And I do that using a tool called EVSVR. So what I need to do is to run up a command prompt as administrator. I am logged on as the service vault service account, which is required for this. So the first thing I need to type is edit, and that'll put me into the operations dialog where I can change the settings and what it'll do is create an XML file that will feed back into EVSVR as you'll see in a minute. So what I want to do is to only process one vault store. So I'm just going to say that I want to process the information management vault store and all its partitions. Down here I choose the operation and I want to do a verify 
and in particular I want to do database references which is the main one to check whether all the inter database references are there and matching and then I'm going to save it as a file and I'm going to call it verify.xml so when I click OK it's going to load the XML file into EVSVR you can see all the settings there so if I now type start it will then use the XML file and start processing based on the settings that I've selected So it's now stopped processing. So if I go into here and look at the report, which I'll find under Program of Files x86, Enterprise Vault, and then the Reports folder. And the folder is created for EVSVR, and there's my file. So it's telling me that it's done a number of checks and you can see it's got missing save set and storage queue save set records so this is basically telling us that there are missing SQL records within the vault store database down the bottom will be a summary of what it's found so the number of records so you can see they're missing records 11 missing storage queue batch records save set records and so on so i need to now run evsvr in repair mode to actually fix those database references so let's go back into edit mode again and i'm going to change this to repair and i'm going to start out by doing database references and I'm going to save that as repair.xml click OK to load that back into EVSVR and start you'll notice that it fails almost immediately and if I was to look into the report file, it would tell me that I need to be in backup mode to run a repair. So let's just do that. And you need to do it on all vault stores. So let's do set backup mode on all vault stores. And then I can do a start again. So that is now finished. So let's go and look at the report file. is telling me that it's corrected the missing save set records and so on recreated them and it's always a good idea to go right to the bottom of the file and in this particular case there's some, some advice as to what to do next it says repair completed but it's also recommending that I run a repair database linkages operation on the same data set so let's do that now. Go back into edit mode again. And change this now to database linkages. Save that XML file. And then click OK and run it again so we look at the report file you'll notice that actually it's still it's well it says all checks have been completed successfully so that basically means that it's done what it needs to do i don't think it's actually repaired anything but I say it did recommend that we do that so always follow the recommendations in the log files if you ever have to do a repair always back up your SQL databases first and it's recommended that you also contact Veritas technical support to get their help because this will change your databases and may damage them if you're not careful so we run EVSVR so I now need to take 
the vault store out of backup mode. So let's switch over to the client again and open up one of these archived items and you can see that they now open successfully. So we've repaired those database references based on the information which is in the vault store partition so everything is now functioning okay. So that brings to the end of this demonstration video about how to recover enterprise vault data. Many thanks for listening.